we made it. Do you think the guys will be okay? I'm sure they'll figure something out, probably. But, um, the Badlands are practically a graveyard. Well, they'll be all right. In the heat? With the skags? I'm not so sure. They probably called for help and had someone pick them up. Yeah, probably. With a caravan like this, we couldn't help them if we wanted to. I hope they'll fix it. We're not exactly rolling in cash right now. How are you gonna get them to do it? I mean, I'm assuming it's not exactly a charity. And we definitely cannot get out of here if we don't get this fixed. Oh, please. This is me doing this. Nothing I can't handle. Okay, don't get too cocky. We'll figure it out, don't worry. Stay here. I'll do the talking. Wouldn't have it any other way. Leaving me out like this. I almost feel sorry for the poor sap. Almost. Ugh. Does every mechanic have to be gross? Scooter's a fan of the races. Good to know. That race was insane. Rest in peace, Bossa Nova. Carries is three to five by twelve. Ah, oh, what the hell, man? I gotta cut down my wrench budget. Oh, oh hey, man! Welcome to Skitter's Catch a Ride. What can we do for you today? Uh. Sorry if I seem a little dis distracted. Uh, hopefully, handing this place over to the new proprietor today, and I gotta get all these numbers and stuff in order. No, it's a lot. I don't know if you know this, but the transition from small business owner to franchise owner is surprisingly difficult. A new proprietor? Yeah, man, I got too many locations now. I can't work all of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm hoping to hand this old girl off to Janie Springs, you know her? She used to fix buggies and crap on the moon, so I figured it'd be like riding a bike for her. Figuratively speaking, I don't really do bikes, <laughs> you know? Holy crap! I knew I recognized this rig from somewhere! You were in the latest Bossin' Over Death Rally! Oh, I was there, man! Did you see me? I was I was waving! You were a badass! You want the latest Bossin' Over Arena Death Race thing? Winner. Badass. That thing's beat up to hell and back, man! I can fix it, but it's probably gonna run you about 2,500 cold 2,500? Uh... That's a little out of my price range. Not to be implied or nothing, but you must have won a buttload of money from that race, right? Where did it all go? Oh, cuz my cousin, right? He said that his sister's friend's neighbor's husband won one of them races one time and the cats kept them fed for weeks. Yeah, someone stole it. Can you believe that? Yes, actually. Yes, I can. Well, tell me this. You think you could ever see yourself racing again? Let me pitch you something, and it might be crazy. But if you keep racing, I would love to endorse you as a sponsor. What do you say? It'll be great, maybe like a billboard, couple commercials, product placement. You'd be huge. Tell you what, throw in an extra thousand bucks and you've got yourself a deal. Thousand? Wow, man, that's kind of a hard bargain, don't you think? Call it a signing bonus. Oh, I, I don't know, man. That kind of thing makes me a little uncomfortable. Say it once for me, man, you know? The catchphrase? Catch a ride! You know what? Come on. Don't be shy. I'm your sponsor now. Gotta hear how you do the catchphrase. Go on, do it!
Getcha! Yeah, no. No, no, not now. No? All right. Well, I guess there's no harm in saving it for the real deal. Ah, uh, would have been cool. I'm thinking that we put a big old ad on your van, you know, like maybe a picture of me with like, catch a ride up above it, you know, all cool, right? I'm looking all badass, you to put some badass pictures of you with your car and your hat and all that. Hi, Scooter, right? Everything going okay? <laughs> I was, uh, I was just gonna, you know, go grab the paperwork, let me take care of that. Okay, bye. All right, man, here's my standard endorsement contract. Don't mind the sub clauses about uh, explosions or whatnot. I might have copied it from Torg. Anyway, I figure as long as I'm in there and you're yeah, doing it for free, maybe you want to splurge and get some of the special packages. I got some good ones. I know it's a big decision. You go ahead and take your time. A lot of good choices, I know, I know. Real classy ones, too. Sometimes I just stand here and, and stare at them, you know? I know how it is. That one would look badass as hell, man. Take it from me. The badass from hell. Man, to be you right now, facing all them possibilities, right for the taking. Can you taste the potential? It's, uh... It's kind of like cinnamon. Or that's just me licking spark plugs again. What day is it? I remember one time I was standing around with my friend Smitty, and we were staring at stuff like this, and it was... That is some fine taste, man. Like a treat for yourself, and for me, getting to do it. Can't wait! Come on in, man. We'll get her all hooked up and get to work. Oh, crap. This doesn't look good. Hey, fellas. What can I do you for? Oh, no. I just hope that little deal you two struck is enough to get him to look the other way. Scooter won't turn us in. You don't know that. We don't even know what the reward is this time. You just gotta have some faith, Sasha. Out of teach him. Hope you ladies weren't too scared. Just doing my duty to keep ruffians the crap out of my garage. I'm a real protector type. Thanks. Hey man, it was no big deal. Proper man ain't gotta turn in two nice seeming ladies. You might be murderers or some crap, but you ain't tried to murder me yet. <laughs> but seriously, please don't try to murder me. Seems like there's some bad men looking for you two though. You got a place to lay low while I'm getting your ride all fixed up? I don't think Felix is as too far away. If we're careful, we can make it on foot. Then, let's do it. We shouldn't hang around here too long.
Looks like he had company while he was away. Hopefully they didn't find the stash. Come on, look around. We gotta be in and out. Yeah. I got the door. It's empty. That's strange. The can's wet, but I don't see any paint. Hmm. Weird. Felix sure was into science fiction. He always complained about the reception on this thing. Right. A phonograph is more to his taste. I had to force this on him once his eyesight was starting to go. Yeah, stubborn as always. I couldn't even get him to stop using floppy disks. Who is she? I don't know. They look happy, though. Felix's favorite chair. Those few times he felt he could relax, anyways. A comfort directly proportional to its wear. What's that? A grenade? Yeah, looks like another one of Felix's homemade projects. Well, let's take it. You were always a better shot than me. Man, it used to drive me crazy. That was a long time ago. Yeah, sis? What are the chances those Hyperion boys aren't dead already? Hyperions are resilient. They'll be fine. Too many memories in this place. Let's hope there's a bit more than that. I hope that bumpkin can put our ride back together. The caravan has seen some better days. Maybe the upgrades will make it feel new. Hmm, maybe. I can't believe we're leaving Hollow Point. It's a town full of losers, Fee. Nothing left for us here. What's your dream destination for when all this is over? Everywhere's a dream if you've got the ends to make it so. Even Hollow Point? Okay, fine. Everywhere but Hollow Point. Find anything yet? Zilch. There's gotta be something, though. Let's keep looking. We better keep at it. Yeah, I'll let you know if I find anything. Hmm, here we go. Always nice to see an old friend. Great, a flashlight. Maybe if we go camping. It's a black light. It's the one Felix used to check our first counterfeit bills. Oh. It looked familiar. It's hard to believe that asshole would be sentimental enough to keep this in his safe. Not unless he meant for us to find it. Sasha, look at this. What the hell? It's ultraviolet paint. I guess he wanted to keep all this a secret. Well, he left this for us to find, so... There's something he wanted us to see. Hey. 
There we go. He left something for us to find. Just like him to make a children's game out of something like this. He never could see us as adults. Well, maybe that was the problem. What are you pointing us at, Felix? Ah! Oh, I see it! Right there! Awesome! Is this the right spot? Yep, just gotta pry it open. Uh, if you find another flashlight under there, I'm leaving. Guess that's what we're searching for, huh? Guess so. Here we go. Better double check the contents. Oh, hello, sexy. You're coming with me. What is it? It's an echo call. Why is there? If you're seeing this, I suppose I'm either dead or worse. My plan worked. I'm sorry. Fiona, Sasha, there's so much I want to tell you, but the less you know, the better. Oh, give me a break. Halfway through the con, I realized we were messing with Valerie's people. I knew that, and I never revealed it to you two. Well... If you're watching this, it won't be long before she's coming after you. Change your names. Change your appearance. Change your life. I believe him. I believe Take he was protecting us. And go. Forget about the life you had. And forget about me. But know that I love you both. With all my heart. <laughs> <sighs> I'm sorry. What are you sorry for? You're not the one that left. The one that lied. I'm not gonna listen to another second of his bullshit. What was it you yelled at him? Choke on it. What does that even mean? I don't know. Choke on the money, I guess. I, I was just pissed. It was always about the money. The second a big score showed up, he betrayed us. We had it. We had it in our hands, Fiona. Ten million dollars. Enough to get off this planet, enough to... to buy a new life. First, we find this vault. Take all the riches it contains, then we'll get off this rock. I promise you, one of these days you'll be looking down on Pandora from space. I'm gonna hold you to that. You always do. You want a sandwich? Might be a while before we eat again. Sure. Huh. Wonder what's in this. What is it? It's some sort of an upgrade. Still only holds a single shot, but it looks like it adds an elemental effect to the bullet. A parting gift. Good thing this comes with another shot. 
I spent the last one I had trying to kill your boyfriend. You better shut up. He left you something, too. I don't want it. Are you sure about that? Yeah, I'm sure. You're not even a little curious? No. I'll just hold on to it for you. In case you change your mind. I won't. So Stubber, you really gonna turn down a dead man's final gift to him? Cold-blooded. <laughs> right? You should be ashamed of yourself. Hands up, both of you. What you making? Sandwich. Hmm. Why you got a pan going for a sandwich? Who are you? He's Finch, I'm Kroger. Heard me going up. You see me looking at you. Make him shoot through that nice floor. And for what? For nothing. You two got every bounty hunter in Pandora looking for you. And you're making a sandwich? Tie her up. Let's get out of here. Ooh! She's fast. Please. You embarrassing yourself. Go on. Fiona, shoot him! Do it. You're pointing that at a dude who has people shoot him in the chest for fun. I'm usually drunk and charge 40 bucks, but you can have this one for free. Go on. I won't even clinch. You all right, man? Oh, yeah. Re real good. <laughs> Look, you don't have to be a tough guy about it. It's cool. <laughs> Hey, man. Hey! Go! Oh, I'm out of these bullets. And they come in. You retired. You heard wrong. 